because there are so many youngsters who are playing on the team. A lot of a lot of freshmen, only three seniors playing for LSU in the game today. Now we're about ready to get started. Three seconds remaining in the half. And the LSU secondary has enough depth. If we can uh, pick them up in the picture or not. They are lined up on the five yard line. Looks like a Hail Mary right. Belvin gets chased out of there. Now he's going to go all the way to the end zone. Could be interesting. When you do something right, though, it's going to be harmful. <laughs> there comes the point after. Well, you know it's never going to be boring when you're watching the Seminoles. 28 to 3. That was a three-second remaining point. Well, then sets it up, then rolls to the outside, giving his players as much time as he can to get down there, get up, get set up, and get in position. And now it's just a jump ball. Everybody up. Raymond there, Marshall there, and Shannon Baker. Good concentration, comes out with the football for six points. 81, Kevin Knox gets up high, gets his hands on it, as does Dossie. That's a great grab by Shannon Baker. Well, at halftime, the score is LSU 28, Louisiana State 3. Our Sitco history feature today looks back at one of Bobby Bowden's more memorable teams here at Florida State. the hearts of Seminole football fans are Chief Osceola, his horse renegade, and the year 1979. Hi, I'm Bobby Bowden, head football coach at Florida State University. 1979 was a great year for Florida State football. The Garnet and Gold started off the season 5-0, utilizing the two-quarterback system of Jimmy Jordan and Wally Woodham, and a bone-rattling defense led by two-time All-American number 50, Ron Simmons. The undefeated season was kept alive at LSU, thanks to this Jordan bomb, tipped right into the hands of Jackie Flowers. Escaping Death Valley with a victory, the Seminole winning streak continued, setting up the season finale against arch-rival Florida. Tied at 10, going into the fourth quarter, big Mark Lyles had a career day, rambling to pay dirt twice, and the undefeated season and a trip to the Orange Bowl belonged to the Seminoles. In the eyes of Florida State fans, Bobby B's boys were indeed number one. Here can get messy, so people protect their homes with Georgia Pacific.